Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maca here playing Tell Me Why, and in this video, I'll show you how to successfully hack the computer inside of the police station. This is the entire solution. Now, in order to start this, what you'll need to do is reach the police station, go upstairs and talk to Eddie. He'll make you leave, but also give you the keys to the break room where he tells you to go make yourself some coffee. Instead, we're gonna do a little bit of snooping around and we're gonna hack the computer in the reception area. Now you can, if you want, just walk up to the computer, put in the password and you're done. But this video will show you how to get that actual solution done. It's pretty fun. Now the first thing you'll need to do is actually go towards the break room, but don't make yourself that cup of coffee that you said you would. Instead, go to the locker room. And inside the locker room, you will find a locked locker as it should be. This one belongs to Denise Wilson, one of the members of the police station here. And unfortunately, it's locked. Yep, so it's let's locked. go find her key. She isn't too bright. So she stored it in a pretty easy to find location inside the drawer of her desk. So we're going to go to her drawer and take the key. You can only take the key once you find out that her locker is locked, however. There is additionally a birthday card here that I will ignore for now, but is actually a pretty important part of the puzzle. Now that you do have the key, what you're going to want to do is go back to the locker room and open up her locker. Inside, you'll find a pretty important document. It is the memo from the police academy that they have changed all of the passwords and logins, as well as a post-it note stuck to the so front of it with a very important clue. The post-it note reads, winner on my 20th birthday. So that is the key information we're gonna take away from this. And now what we have to do is actually head back to her she desk so with this information. So if you head back to her desk, open up the drawer and read the birthday card, it'll say happy 29th birthday. So we know that she's 29. And this game takes place in 2015. You can find that through all of the dates on any of the documents in the police station. So nine years ago, she turned 20, which was in 2006. Now we can inspect other things on her desk and she happens to be a big fan of dogs, but there is a dog sledding competition known as the Iditarod and she has the winners list posted up. And in 2006, would you look at that, a dog named Salem won. At this point, we should have all of the clues we need take the key, open up the reception, and go onto the computer. You'll have to find the user D. Wilson, obviously for Denise, Ooh, and her password, the five-letter word that you need to get into her files is, of course, Salem. Once you're inside, you can read through her emails. Nothing particularly interesting, in my opinion. A couple of online shopping orders and a couple of uh, traditional bookkeeping-type stuff. But you can read through some of these and maybe you'll find some uh, strings of lore that I was not aware of. And of course, you'll also unlock a spiffy achievement worth 50 gamer score. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. A super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully, I see you soon. Peace.